your key players have to step up. There's a big debate here in England. I mean, not so much now, but Rio Ferdinand said that Bukayo Saka was not world class. He said he's a really good player, but right now he's not world class. And I don't, I don't think we need to go over long, but it's a very interesting debate. Some people will think that Saka is world class, even amongst us three. Others don't. Maybe he's just not there yet, but he's getting closer and closer. The way I see it is that Porto was a really good test in a way for that. If your team is not really working collectively, so the fluidity is not there, you're not creating as many chances, maybe the movement is not, which can happen in any games to any team. That's when I think your world-class players step up. And I think we saw against Porto for Saka that in those kind of games, in the Champions League especially, which is all new to him, this is his first season that he's played in the Champions League, there's still something a little bit missing. He will get there, he's still very young, but I, I, I thought against Newcastle after his disappointment against Porto and the same could be said for the whole team he bounced back so well because he was outstanding against Newcastle uh, yeah because you can't argue with the stats right he's now scored in five consecutive Premier League goals um, and he's actually scored seven in total in those five games he's got 16 so far this season so uh, I mean they are top top class and and you're right it's which whether or not you class him as world class or whether it's just one of the best players in the Premier League and currently on form you're pretty hard to find anyone who's in better form than Saka in the Premier League for. I, 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 Jules, you've brought me back down to earth. Thank you. I was getting carried <laughs> away with my Arsenal <laughs> euphoria. But it's actually an interesting one. We don't need to go down the the world class uh, debate route. But if you look at the goals that he scored uh, in the uh, in the Premier League, and it's 13 goals in the Premier League, he scored against Forest, Fulham, Spurs, Bournemouth, Wolves, Fulham, Forest, Liverpool, West Ham, Burnley, and Newcastle. Um, it's Against teams, shall we say, lower ranked rather than in the uh, in, in the big. Okay, he scored against Liverpool. And, and there's a and, few and pens Spurs. as well. Yeah, in there there, he, there are uh, four pens in there as well. So yeah, um, the numbers are are good, but in terms of we're talking about the the world class elite status, maybe yeah, maybe not quite there yet. At the age of twenty two, yeah. you know, if we come back in four or five years, we're we're probably having a different conversation. I would like to say he's getting there. He's getting there. He's, I you know, I, I think it's hard to say that he's world-class right at this moment in time, but he's certainly getting there. He's well on his way. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more. So why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.